welcome to Balance Body Podcast. I'm Jennifer Gianni from Fusion Pilates of Asheville, North Carolina, and this is my friend and coworker, Daniela Parles. Today, we're going to be introducing you to the Smart Spine and the Smart Spine products. This is such a fabulous tool to have in your studios. You can use it anywhere from your very therapeutic clients all the way to your intermediate advanced clients who need an extra challenge. So today we're going to be doing uh, footwork with the Smart Spine, and this is an exercise that Daniela and I came up with. Here in Asheville, we have numerous different uh, mountains and, and lots of trails, and we have a lot of athletes who competitively, competitively run on these trails. So this is an exercise to help them to strengthen their feet, ankles, and lower leg, but it's also an exercise that you can use with any of your clients. Very important for balance. Daniela came up with a great way to set up the smart spine on the jump board. Just attach the smart spine to the foot strap with two carabiners, then make sure the seeds in the smart spine are even and you're all set. All right, so let's get on to the reformer. And we're going to start really simply um, just with a parallel leg and foot. And she wants to feel all four corners of her feet. So I want a really nice anchor in the first ray, fifth ray, and each side of the heels. Good, and she's all lined up in her neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Daniela, on your inhale, press the carriage away. And then on your exhale, slowly travel back in. Good, scoot your hips just a tiny bit over to your right. Great, and again, on the inhale, pressing out. And on the exhale, slowly coming back in. Nice, and find that guy wire from your right sits bone to your left inner heel, so you begin to lengthen that uh, right side a little bit more. There you go, good. And these are just a few little things that Daniela and I know from just working with her. And shift your rib cage just a little bit over to the right. Great, just a few more. So here she's working the suction cup of her feet. Right, and we really want her to be aware, especially for Daniela, of her inner arch. So imagining that there's like a little campfire under her inner arch. So she feels this lifting or the suctioning up throughout the whole inner leg, all the way up into her pelvic floor. And just one more, and gently come back in. Good. So the smart spine is giving her a lot of tactile feedback. It's wonderful. You can also heat these in the microwave, which would be wonderful for this exercise. So waking up the senses a little bit more. You can also cool these in the freezer. And um, let's go ahead and go to um, the big toe on the outer bump. Good. So now here, I want to create an imaginary floor on her outer foot. And I want her to see if she can hold that imaginary floor as she presses out and in. So on your inhale, pressing out. And on the exhale, good. Keep finding that guy wire from your right um, sits bone to the left inner heel. Good, and again, deep inhale. And I still want her to feel that kind of vacuuming up through her inner leg. And last one and resist in. Good. Now I want her to press out just the littlest bit and to keep the carriage still. So using your deep abdominals, keeping the pelvis nice and elongated and the knees stay upright. So on the inhale, imagine reaching the pinky toe fifth ray towards the jump board and then on the exhale, find your imaginary floor. And deep inhale and on the exhale, find the imaginary floor. And inhale and deep exhale, and last one, and deep exhale. Good, and come all the way in. So it looks like it's very easy and very simple, but she is getting a lot of work through the um, outer foot, ankle, and lower leg. So lots of really nice um, targeted work that's really going to help to strengthen this whole lower leg, ankle, foot. All right, so now let's go. We'll separate the smart spines just a little bit on the jump board. Good, and then we're gonna put the fifth ray pinky toe on this inner bump. 
And now I'd like her to create that imaginary floor under the ball of her big toe, so her inner foot here. And on the inhale, press out. And deep exhale, coming in. Good, now have a really nice anchor on your outer heel. Inhale. And as you come in, try to lengthen your inner heel a little bit more to the jump board, great. And deep inhale, keep lengthening that inner heel even as you straighten the legs, exhale, and come in. Now, she's gonna hold the carriage still again, so the, the springs are a little bit preloaded. Keep the anchor on the fifth ray outer heel, and on the inhale, her big toe, ball of the big toe tries to find the mat, and then on the exhale, coming up. Good, and we want the knees to stay in the exact same position. It's very hard to hold this, and find your imaginary floor. Good, inhale, and deep exhale. Good, keep elongating the pelvis. Inhale, toe ball of the foot tries to find the jump board, and then she comes up and finds the imaginary floor. One more time, very small movement. Inhale down, and exhale, imaginary floor. Good, gently come on in, give your knees a hug, and just circle your ankles in each direction. So the smart spine, this exercise you can use with anyone. Um, these were created by Marie Jose Bloom of Long Beach Dance Conditioning. This is the main product of um, the Smart Spine line, but there's lots of other little um, Smart Spine products that are really, really valuable to have in your studio. Um, again, both as therapeutic applications and uh, exercises that can help challenge. Now, Danielle and I have experimented to kind of heighten this exercise for some of our athletes. We've put the smart spine under them, so they have three smart spines, one uh, track on the reformer while they're doing this exercise, or if you want to even heighten the exercise even more, you can put a foam roller, just put a sticky pad under the foam roller, foam roller on your um, reformer doing this exercise. So you're really challenging the proprioception and the stabilization of your trunk. Thank you for joining us today. Please, it, please tune in next time for our next podcast. Thank mm -hmm. you.